Hi, my name is Ward Becker and welcome to another Grafana video. In Grafana Loki, log lines are not indexed. All heavy lifting is done at query time. Structured log files like JSON logs are easy to automatically parse as it both contains field names and values. Semi-structured log files like web server logs and syslog don't contain field names and are typically white space delimited. If you would parse this line with regex, it would look something like this. I don't know about you, but writing regex statements is not my hobby. I also find it hard to maintain. That's why Loki 2.3 introduces the pattern parser. Patterns are way simpler to write than regex. And as an added bonus, it's an order of magnitude faster than the Loki regex parser. Which means that you can now query way more semi-structured logs in less time than before with Loki. Right. Let's write the pattern parser for an Nginx log line. And we're gonna query the access logs again. Okay, I'm gonna use the new pattern parser. And I start with the backtick. So the backtick helps us to prevent us from writing a lot of escape codes. All right, so the first part of the log line is the IP address. And then uh, we have two fields that we don't care about. I think it's server name and username. They're typically not being filled. Then we have the timestamp. Again, Loki already knows the timestamp, so we don't need it. HTTP method, a URI. HTTP version. We, we then do a double quote again, because that is uh, also there in the log line. And it's followed by status the amount of bytes sent, the refer, which is also nowadays typically empty, the user agent, so that's the browser of the that the user is using, and then in this case there is a latency or the response time of the web server also included in the log line. Cool, let's uh, hide the first query. Oh, I made a mistake, I forgot a backtick there, and let's run that. Cool. And here we go. We have the same type of log labels parsed and ready to query in Loki. In this case, we're gonna use the result of the pattern, uh, in this case, byte sent as part of a Loki metric query. So we're gonna get the average over time aggregated by status. Pretty easy, right? And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.